Hi, Tom Walsh, Carbide Processors. This is a steel saw plate. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to use a water break test, a version of a water break test, to see if your saw plate or any other steel is clean enough for brazing. We use WD-40 and we spray it on one side. Okay, WD-40. We take a can of Easy Off. It'll probably be better if it wasn't upside down. Or a can of just ordinary Easy Off oven cleaner. This is probably why they let me have it in the back. It's about shot. But anyway, spray a little Easy Off there. And then wipe off the WD-40. Use the other side of the cloth. Wipe off the Easy Off. The next thing we need is this, just some tap water and a little eyedropper. Take some drops of water, drop them on this side, three, four, okay, you can see the shape, see that nice, see the nice round shape? You drop it on the other side, one, two, three, four. Put four drops there and what you see here is that it spreads out a lot further than it does over here. This is the WD-40 drop, the round thing right there at the end of my finger. This is what the water looks like with the Easy Off oven cleaner right there at the end of my finger. So the this saw plate, oops, this saw plate with the Easy Off oven cleaner will braze much better because the the braze alloy will wet the plate the same way the water does. With this one, with the WD-40, there was more likely to be problems brazing because there's a coating on the surface which is why the water beads up. So that's my version of a water break test. Uh, if you're having trouble brazing or trouble with parts sticking together, try it. It can be really valuable. Thank you.